Hi guys, and welcome to Preactcast. Today we're gonna install a React component while using Preact, so that you can see how easy it is to actually use the React ecosystem even though you're not actually using React. So what I am going to install is this React Icons Kit, and I'm also gonna install Preact Compact, Compact, Preact Compact, so that it's basically a comp compatibility layer for React. So, so I'm gonna go yarn add, this and pre preact compat so basically compatibility and save so yarn saves it automatically to the dependency so I don't need to do that anymore and we're gonna try and do what they tell us to do so import star we're gonna come over here first we're gonna come to the node one so that's the first one that we have and we're gonna import star but we're also gonna import star o so star Oh, so we need to remove this star over here so that we import it both from FA. And instead of a button, this is going to be an icon. Oh, we also need to import icon, sorry. So import icon from React, uh, React icon kit. There we go. So remove this, put it over here. And we say icon. And icon is equal to uh, star O. Oh, on click, it does this. And then we close it. And we also give it a role that is equal to button. We start the server again. And we do the same thing over here, but with star. So star and remove character. And as you can see, this is pretty much not going to work. Yeah, so we get a huge, huge error over here. Yeah, there we go. Can I find module preact? Can't resolve re react? Can resolve react? Yeah, because we're not using react. But you can resolve this in your webpack config. So if you come over to your webpack config and try resolve. And in this resolve part, we're going to give it an alias. So every time that webpack is looking for react, we're going to tell them to go to preact compat. And every time it's looking for React DOM, sorry, not COM, it's DOM, we're gonna tell it to look in the same place. So React COM patch. We're gonna save this. And we're gonna try and run the server again. And as you can see, we have no errors. So, but did it work? Let's check. Okay, it's loading and it's paused in a debugger because I was trying to debug something, but now I can't remove all the debuggers. You activate breakpoints, I'm gonna reload the page, let's check, and loading, and we got an icon, look! And if I click it, it changes to the other icon. So this is just how simple it is to actually use the Reactic ecosystem in here. It's that simple, so all you actually need to do is set in your webpack config that you need to resolve React to Preact Compact and React DOM to Preact Compact. If you're using like a really old plugin, there's also this that you can use. So if you're using something that consumes the model create class, which is not that usual anymore, but that made it happen, you can use Preact Compact slash live slash create React class and that will overwrite the React class and serve it from over there. So that was pretty much it. I, pro I probably uh, you probably thought you were expecting like this huge, huge tutorial, but no, this is like five minutes long because it's actually that easy. So, bye guys, see you guys in the next Preactcast.